etiquette is a customary code of polite and correct behavior. So what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Eme Odoro. I'm a YouTuber based in the beautiful city of Uyo, Akwaibu State, Nigeria, West Africa, Africa. So guys, we're talking about etiquette. We know that etiquette, we might tend to do some things and want to, you know, walk away with it and then probably because we didn't know. So the essence of today's video is to enlighten you more of the things. I have been guilty, so this is not blaming game. I'm not blaming anybody, okay, of what you must have done. Maybe you didn't know that it's improper. So we're talking about 41 etiquette that way is expected of us, how we're supposed to behave, the proper way of behaving, be it on the dining table, be it your place of work, or even just relating to somebody that you know. So if this sounds like something that you're interested, then ensure you stick around. To the end of the video, number 8 and 17 is my best. I'm sure you don't want to miss it. Okay? So stay tuned, guys. Let's get started. Give up your seats for the aged or a pregnant woman. It happens to go to a place you're already seated. And then you see someone like an aged man comes around and don't let him stand. Or you see a pregnant woman like so tired and you're bombing your seat there. You balance. It's a no-no. So give up your seats to the aged. Let them sit down and be comfortable. And they'll be happy and you'll be happier learn to say excuse me thank you sorry you know those five magical words the words that we learned in elementary school so those words still applies you, you won't say because you're now an adult you're no longer using them again you understand so learn to say those five say magical words. excuse me pardon me thank you please and sorry it doesn't take anything away from you. You will say, okay, so what you, you were taught in nursery school and now you're an adult, so you can do whatever you want to do and get away with it. So those five magical words still applies. Okay? Number three, if you're in the midst of people and your phone rings, just gently like a humble man that you are or a humble lady that you are, or a gentle lady that you are, just stand up and excuse yourself and you don't pick your call. Don't stay there and make call. hello, and be answering the call like, I mean, that's weird. Just if your phone rings, just get up and go out, do your thing, answer your calls, and come back right in. Number five, if someone is talking to you, maintain eye contact. This is one thing I learned in my public speaking school. If someone is talking to you, maintain eye contact. Don't be shy. Don't be looking left and right. Apart from that, when you get to like learn, you want to go public speaking school, you get to learn from looking at the person's movement of the eye. You can actually tell if the person is lying or not. So maintain eyeball with the person you're talking to, to see if the person, what the person is telling is actually true or not. Yeah, it's always cover your mouth when you yawn. Very important. Cover your mouth. Don't do <sighs> man. Imagine that that's so weird. Like, and you're in the midst of people who are like well behaved, and you're just like embarrassing yourself like you're a village person. So cover your mouth when next you want to. Number seven, step outside and fart if you want to fart. Like, do your thing. Like, don't in here, don't I mean put let out such horrible air. You know, in where people are there, you just change the atmosphere. So if you want to fart, just excuse yourself. Nobody's gonna stop you. Don't you don't even need to explain to anybody why you're just say excuse me, please, or I'll be right, I'll be right back. Just excuse yourself, go do your thing, go fast, and then come back. Then number eight, hmm, Niger people, like my people, Niger Quenu. I agree to now. Like seriously, Nigerians, we need to work on this. We go to church late, we go to meetings late, like I mean, it's like, the, even people even say things like African time. There's nothing like African time. Time is time. It is whatever we're going to find ourselves, whether we're in Africa, whether in, we're in Europe, we're in America. As in, you know, I was talking to a friend the other day, was like, if you go late to work the first time, second time, like, you're being relieved of your job over there. So it was like, how I wish they could just pack all Nigerians and take them to another country so that they can be more time conscious. So be punctual to an event be it a meeting, whatever meeting it is, be it formal or informal, just ensure that you're punctual, you go on time. And for any reason you might be running late, before that time, send a text message, oh, please, I'll be running late, like let's say 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something. Now when is that time? You come and say, ah, I beg, I did come home, I did road, I'm coming, you know? It doesn't add up. So just try and be punctual. Let us erase this thing of saying Nigerian time. There's nothing as such. There's no African time. There's no Nigerian time. Time is time. 10 o'clock is 10 o'clock prompt. It's not like 10 or 1. You should be seated at an event or any like any meeting. You should be there before 5 minutes to the time or better still 10 minutes to the time so that you can be relaxed. 
I'm be waiting so you don't look nervous when you go for that event, okay? When you're punctual. Number nine, when you belch, say sorry. Very important. Don't just belch. And you're talking to somebody and you just... It's crazy. Don't. Say sorry when you belch. Then number 10, like most of the men, although some ladies are also guilty, keep, keep clean. Number 10, keep public things clean. Like you use the toilet, you use the white room, keep it clean. Don't go pee and then mess up the toilet seats. I mean, it's crazy. Imagine someone wants to come inside and the place is messed up. How will you feel? If it was you, how will you feel? So keep public things. Don't say it's because it's not in your house. You can just do whatever you want. So keep public things clean for the next person that is coming to use it after you. Yes, very important. And ladies, if you happen to be your menstruation, please, if there's no water after you must have used, like, don't drop, don't drop your pad, your tampon, your pad inside the toilet. It's gonna block it. Okay. Get it like get a tissue paper, wrap it and put it, dispose it properly. Yes. And if you mess it up, you probably you have blood spilled over. Just get water and flush. And if there's no water, don't walk away like that. Please. Like I'm begging you, ladies, like ask for water and use to flush the toilet and make it clean for the next person I want to use. Seven, if you're being invited to maybe let's say dinner, day, dinner date, or even a, a function or whatever function. If you're bringing a third person, if the meeting was supposed to be for you and the other person, let's say two persons, you and the other person, and if some, you're bringing somebody else in, be it a formal meeting or a formal meeting, obtain permission from that person that there's going to be a third party. There's going to be a third person because, I mean, three could be a crowd, depending on the setting of whatever meeting you guys want to have. Number two, wait for everyone to be served before you start eating. If you're sitting on a dining table and you have other diners with you, like maybe four, five, six persons, and you're being served first, don't rush. Behave yourself, like, seriously. Just calm down, calm down. Wait for other food to be served, then you guys can start eating. Don't start eating, and the other food will be salivating. So it's a no, no, don't do it. 13, knock before you enter. Knock and wait for response. Be in the office, be in the room, even in your home, like, knock the door of the room, just pop or pop up. And then wait for response before you go in. Don't just barge into to, to the, to the person's room. Don't. Even if it's your sister. Even if it's your dad. Even if it's your mommy. Like kids. Also get to learn. Don't just barge in. Wait for a response. And then you can just go right in. Quoting. Reach out to people that are grieving. If someone is mourning, mourn with them. If they are celebrating, celebrate. Even the Bible says celebrate those that celebrate. You understand? Like the last oh, last weekend, that was two days ago. Like I went for a wedding and they spent some, like they, they tried. You know, they spent some money. But guess what? The place was empty. So I'm certain that these persons, like probably they don't used to attend people's events. That's why the hall was empty. Because I don't know why you spend too much money like that and then you spend some money like that and then there's nobody in the hall. Probably because you don't used to attend people's events and now it's your turn. So nobody cares. Nobody shows up. Then number 15, put your phone on silence. Especially when you're around important people. Put your phone on silence or put it on vibration. Some people have so many funny, imagine that you're like in a, an official setting and then your phone rings and it's like a disco ringing tone. Nobody takes you serious. So just put your phone on silence, gently to avoid any kind of form of embarrassment because, you know, people's perception can be like weird about you, like just because of a ringing tone. So just put your phone on silence when you're around important people or better to put it on vibration. Number 16, when you enter a room, greet everyone. Everyone, like, I mean, literally, like, put them eyeballs, eyeballs. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma. Look at them. Greet them. Yeah, because there's been some, like, someone can even just pick up an offense with you for that purpose. You know, like, ah, oh, you greeted Mr. A. You didn't greet Mr. B. So just ensure you greet everyone in the room. People, nobody wants to be ignored. Nobody. Nobody at all. Number 17, return calls. Return text messages. Like, probably if you're busy, you're not disposed. You know, when the phone was ringing, you were in a meeting or you were kind of maybe in the kitchen doing one thing or the other, you couldn't answer your call. When you come to see the missed call, please return. Even if it's 10 missed call, don't say, oh, you don't return one and say you don't return the other. It's rude on your part. And even when you're on social media, when someone comments on your posts, maybe they like it or maybe let's say they comment, at least you can drop an emoji. People want to be like appreciated. So you can just leave a comment there, oh, thank you, appreciate. Don't just ignore anybody, don't. If not, you post something and nobody will even like your, your even your picture. Even if your picture is so fine, nobody will just will even admire, will even like because of the previous experience they had that, oh, this one does not used to like appreciate and all that. So you post a lovely video or you post a lovely picture, nobody will look at it. Nobody will watch. Nobody cares. Number 18, remember and use people's name. If you don't know the person's name, you can just say, hello. That's more cordial. Don't say, hey, alpha. Don't behave like a village person. I know you're from the village. 
some people are from the village. So you are not, you are not there watching. You know, we are like so cautious, full of etiquette, you know. So don't shout. Don't shout like you're in the village. So just use hello or you call the person's name. For 19, talk less and listen more. Don't try to monopolize the conversation. I know some people will say, oh, yeah, okay, this one, that one. Eh, um, when you, they, people feel that when they are like more or less, when they, they talk, they feel more, they feel like they know so much. They're like the man of the moment or the woman of the moment. Sometimes you just not need to like listen more. Just be quiet. Don't even, don't even say anything. Just be quiet. Listen more. Listen more to other people. Like, and I saw most times, like, I'm glad it's more like when someone is just like, well, I'm not saying you don't, because you don't want to say you have anything to say, that's why you're keeping quiet. So just like, you know, sometimes just be quiet. Listen more. It's every time you talk, 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 talk. Then other people also talk. Don't be so opinionated. Then number 20, don't talk with food in your mouth. Don't talk with food in your mouth. Imagine I was having this conversation with you and I had food in my mouth. I mean, that's weird. 